June 2012 Naughty Dog shows the gameplay of a new IP called The Last of Us. I was a big fan of Uncharted and I always loved survival games so I knew I was gonna buy it. I stopped seeing anything else related to the game since I wanted to experience it myself. So I wait. And I wait. And finally the game comes out. I check my wallet. And I realized that I had no money. So I needed to wait again. Meanwhile on my home page I see that PewDiePie is playing it. I knew I needed to resist the urge to click on the video but I did. 5 seconds in and I turn it off. You need to understand that I waited so long I was not going to spoil it for myself so close to the finish line. And thank god I didn't. Just the first 15 minutes of this game are so good that it's to be the best intro I played in any game. The more I kept going the more I found something to love about. Everything worked so good. But how? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes is all they need to establish Joel as a character. Strong, reliable, grumpy, cautious. Those 15 minutes are able to make you justify how Joel responds to the world around him. How? When they wrote Joel they didn't focus on making a superhero main protagonist, rather they focus on humanizing him. Because you know that Joel is just like a prickly pear. Tough and tawny on the outside, but soft and sweet on the inside. That's why seeing Helly trying to break the shell that Joel has made for himself is something so unique and likable. And the depth that went into the other character as well is just an amazing work. You just need two lines of dialogue and you understand what they are all about. And the story throughout is just a roller coaster. And when you think you are able to predict it, it does a complete 180 and it does it over and over and over again just to surprise you. And this leads up to the most original ending I've seen in any games, movie or book. The ambiguity of it amazes me still to this day. You would think that since they put a lot of work in the story then the gameplay suffers. But that doesn't happen at all. One thing that Naughty Dog has always been good at is gameplay. I think they have one important rule that applies to all the games they make. The gameplay needs to be simple, intuitive. Just look at this interface. So clean. Press right to find your AK, climb on the yellow stuff. You can see this in The Last of Us 2 of course, it's hard to get lost in these games. The gameplay also favors the atmosphere. Go down on that difficulty my man and the experience will feel 10 times more real. Ammo becomes scarce, you find fuck all in those drawers and suddenly you have a reason to go stealth. This kind of gameplay only adds to the atmosphere. And if we talk in atmosphere then we need to talk about this guy. He made all the music in this game and god damn it if he makes it good. Give him a guitar and he'll give you the world, as Druckmann said. A faint noise stroking the guitar, whether you experience some traumatic shit or petting a giraffe, his music is always there. Just listen to the music on the background in this scene. In this scene the music represents the mental state of Ellie. While she's killing someone the music is distorted and broken to then go to calm and collected once Joel and Ellie are united. The music infused with the cinematics is done to establish the way they want you to feel. I swear I played this game 7 times but every time I go back it still has the power to make my jaw drop to the floor. This game is a masterpiece, in every way possible. I mean what more would you want from this game? Multiplayer? Maybe a good DLC. God this game's perfect.
Oh. Why are these all stuck together? Bruh.